All right, I just watched the UFC Wiederman, Wiedelman versus uh, Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva came out there. He fucking had his Nike and all that shit, you know, and he's fucking sponsored from head to toe, and he's making all this money. Look, he's defending his title for ten times. He's 38 years old. They're both the same height. They're both the same weight. They're both the same reach. Anderson Silva is fucking had experience all the way down through pride. Here's a guy that only has nine fights. Comes up. He's in a product. He's an American product. Proud to be in UFC. Listen, this is what it comes down to. Fucking UFC and, and the way it's put up, it's an American product. It's mostly all the fights are in fucking Vegas. It's it's basically to me the way this fight turned out, and I'm gonna get to it, is turned into the fucking WWE. I see better fights in the street. Like I'll go to the fucking street. At least motherfuckers are fighting for real and shit. I don't want, look. Here's the thing. You have a guy that this the guy looks like fucking Chatham Tatum. He comes into the ring and. Anderson Silva, look, Dana White and Anderson Silva have been fucking beefing forever. And he really couldn't find nobody to beat him. And, and listen, he built up the UFC. Anderson Silva built up, or Silva Anderson, whatever, built up the, the UFC. Uh, I'm winning all these great fights. And he built up that name. He's got all this allure built up into him. He, he's like this famous guy. He's a undefeated famous fighter until tonight. And I'm sure that Dana White's like, yo, this guy just can't walk away with all that allure, all that fame, and all that power, unless he loses. Look, that's a brotherhood. The UFC's a brotherhood. So, they're going to pick a guy that they can pass that power on to the next guy. You just can't have a champion that's never lost a fight, just leave. And, and especially when they built up the UFC. It just... It just wouldn't make money sense. It wouldn't make sense in money terms. So the bottom line is, is that you was probably like, listen, we want, we want to pay you. And this is because of the way Anderson Silva was talking at the end of the fight. He was like, yo, I don't want to rematch. I just want to retire. I'm fucking tired. I mean, it was, UFC has been great to me, blah, 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 blah. Basically, he came short from saying, yo, fucking they paid me to take a fall. I just had to take this fight. So I give this fucking special, everything I built up with the UFC, I'm passing on to Weeder, Weed a minute. And who else to pass it on to? An American Channel Tatum lookalike. The, you know, fuck it. You pass the power on to him, and whoever beats that guy is going to be the next superhero on fucking UFC. It's basically turning into the WWE. What, how do you tell me that a guy that's fucking ten-time defending champion is going to fucking play games in the ring even though he did that before. Hi, and especially when he got got into the first round where he almost got... Uh, they challenged each other on the ground, and they were both equal. And it was, came up to the top, and he was playing games with them, and he did it on purpose. Well, who, why, why would you do that? It makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it just... And then after the fight, what he said just basically sealed the deal. Like, it makes perfect sense. Like, I, I, look, I'm done. I don't want to rematch. I don't want to come back. You know? The other guy's not even in on it. They're just like, you know, stupid-ass young dude. Let's just bring him up. You know, we'll build it around him, blow up his fucking case. And then when he gets into a bunch of fights, I mean, you're a fucking champion. You're tired of defending your title. You just want to move on with your life. He's probably like, listen, I fucking won every fucking fight. What else do I got to prove? If I beat this young dude, which he had more wisdom, he could have just played with him and waited it out and whatever. He could have fucking caught him. You know, the guy's not that fucking quick on, up top, and he was playing games with him. He had his hands down. Of course he's going to get knocked out. It was a setup. So it's like this now. This is what the UFC has come to. Fucking WWE, you, the, the, the people that they put in there are promoted by Dana White or whatever, and to make their that shit look like it's some kind of big now. Now everybody's talking about it. Before, you know, people talk about the fights be like, oh, yeah, you know. Blah, blah, blah. It wasn't that much chatter. But now everybody's like, oh my god, Silva got knocked out. He got knocked out. He's, you know, this 38-year-old dude got knocked out. 11 times champion. Oh my god, this dude, not, this young American, Channel Dana look like, knocked him out. Oh shit, he's the baddest motherfucker on earth now. 
this shit is fixed. That's just the world we live in now. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. The shit was fixed. And and if we don't see a fucking rematch, I know it's fixed. If we don't see a rematch where these two fucking guys duke it out for real, then it's fixed. And I know this shit's turning into WWE. They all might be great fighters, and they might be true professionals. But the bottom line is, they're on fucking strings, and they're controlled from the top. That's the bottom line. It's a business of the fucking circus. You know, you might as well, I mean, the only fucking UFC or uh, shit that I used to remember is when fucking Hoyce Gracie was fighting 300-pound dudes in UFC 1, 2, and 3, the first ones. The real UFC. Now it's just a big fucking show. They show the people up in the front to watch a fight. Shit's all fixed. Joe Rogan up there. Oh my god, that's what he gets. Look at him showboating all the time. I and mean, he's selling that shit hard at the end of the fight. Come on, man. We've been watching the UFC since day one. You can't pull that shit on us. Anyways, get the fuck out of here.